Hello everybody, and welcome back to the High Voltage server. This is the captain speaking, and today I'm hanging out at the Team West headquarters. You can see the, the slime farm behind me that Cave Knox so expertly set up a few months ago. And it's populated with little bouncy, squishy things. Um, today I'm going to show off what I've been working on for the better part of the week now, um, and that is a revamped slime elevator system. So the old design that was sitting here for ever was bothering me. Um, and I finally figured out something I could do that might work in its place. So it's a system of slime pistons. Um, there's one on the inside to push um, this piston and the slime block out and then that fires upwards and so on. Um, I find it's easier if you hold shift while on the, uh, the slime launcher. That way you um, you minimize the effect of this that little bounce you get after landing on a slime block. It just makes the uh, the firing process um, even more smooth. Still playing with some of the timing. Um, it works most of the time now, but not quite every time. Three. Oh, let's see. That one just failed. Timing was off on that one. I'm not exactly sure why. So we'll try it again. Um, we are at Y level 11 right here. So if this works, you can see how high we get up. And it just failed again. At the same spot, roughly. Oop! Am I getting... No, my latency is the same. Alright, let's wait for it to stop. That should have run its cycle. Need something. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I failed on the tenth one. So you let go of shift if that happens. Otherwise, you take some pretty bad fall damage coming back down. And uh, you don't need that. One, two, I tested this half a dozen times before I hit record, and it worked, I think, four or five of the six times. There we go. And that's how it's supposed to work. I'm now at Y level 64, so that's 53, um, 53 blocks it elevated me, which is not too shabby. Um, I've got a... same with most of my setups, I've got a a button return if you want to drop down the same uh, same way you came up. Um, it's all wired to this. This is the uh, the signal inverter that keeps the piston closed. And here is the rough look at the redstone wiring that powers each of the floors. I do have a a prototype set up that I can uh, I can show you guys. It's a little easier to follow what's going on when you have the space to look around. So again, just hit this button if you stand here. You fall on down, you might bounce a couple times, you could always um, pop in under this part, you know, bump your, bump your noggin and then stop your progress. I'm not sure why that hurts you, but, or why that doesn't hurt you, but there you have it. So again, if this runs smoothly, if it runs smoothly, um, it'll launch you up to 53 blocks, and it works like that. Um, so again, it works about two-thirds of the time, which is a, a vast improvement over the uh, the old design I had in place, which I don't think I ever got to work once out of probably close to a hundred trials, so um, I'm pretty happy with that. I've got the, the prototype set up over here. in the future site of our uh, slime test facility. Seemed the, this, the fitting place to do this. Okay, so if you're familiar with how my slime elevators work at all, the, the uh, foundation is the same basic mechanism. Um, especially if you want to put the, the button on the ground like that. Um, so what changes here 
uh, is a little bit of the delay in the the catching slash launching mechanism. So from here, the same redstone signal goes up these these stairs. You could always set it to use um, redstone torches if you like, but um, I find this works just fine. Um, and it needs two repeaters. Sometimes it might need a, a third one, depending um, on how many uh, pistons in the sequence you have. I find once you get to around five or six in a row, you need a, a, an extra redstone delay, so you might add a, a spare repeater every fifth or sixth floor. But I've got two in place here, and um, these two run to this um, this horizontal piston, and they're both set to a, a four tick delay. So maximum delay on both of these redstone repeaters, and it works just fine. Uh, quickly knock that out, just to uh, show the point why that's there. All right, so you saw I knocked that redstone dust out, and now I've got a, a permanently closed elevator shaft. So that's the second part of the mechanism, is the the same redstone wiring which powers this piston goes over and it powers this redstone block, which will power this piston when this piston is pushed into place. So do I have, oh, but I can quickly make a redstone torch just to demonstrate that point. I'll break these two bits. So yes, the other thing that this does um, is with this redstone block powered, it'll power this repeater, and when I have the redstone dust here, it will power this again. So what happens um, with this delay is this piston will remain powered for longer than this piston does, so what happens then is it retracts because this piston cannot pull this piston and slime block when the piston is extended so you need some way to make you need some way to make uh, this piston fire second but you also need it to fire first because otherwise it won't extend correctly so you need this piston to fire first and you need it to do retract second and that's what just the one little redstone dust and repeater do it keeps this signal open for longer than this signal is open. So this this uh, piston has a chance to retract before they both get pulled in by this one piston. Now this elevator design I'm sure is not uh, an original concept. I'm certain somebody else has come up with it uh, before I have. Um, I didn't do any like online research for this. I figured this out myself. So, um, you know, Props to whoever did figure out originally. Um, I've seen um, this vertical system set up. I think it was in the Nether to get up and down to from the Nether fortress, and I didn't think it would work because when I've tried playing with uh, this setup before, um, I had a second piston down here to push this piston, and depending on how you run the redstone wiring, you will just randomly and every time consistently have this slime block stuck there and it will never retract and um, so when I saw the, the the setup in the nether tunnel for this type of elevator I just didn't think it would work I just discounted it entirely because of uh, my failed attempts but I decided to give it another try and lo and behold I got it to work and there's a Zombert hanging out down here so gracious of him to share his flaming body with me <laughs> inappropriate jokes. Um, so yeah, um, I call this the Captivator. All the little slime systems I uh, I make, I name something like that. I've got the the official name for my boat launcher is the Captapult, and the elevators I, I make are the Captivators. So again, I'm, like I said, I'm not taking credit for coming up with this original design, but um, I did figure this all out myself. And I thought I'd share because it's a pretty big victory for me. I'm pretty happy I've uh, I finally figured out how to do that. Um, oh, the other thing I should mention is I am eventually going to get to work on this. Um, 
I popped on for a little bit yesterday and I outlined um, a couple large spaces that I think I'm going to put windows in. Um, I've said before that I want to make this uh, a kind of a modern build and have lots of glass like the headquarters. And um, frankly, I have plenty of glass saved up. So that would probably be my best bet for starting this build, would be to put the large um, the large windows, the, the basically walls made out of glass in place, because I don't think I have quite enough quartz yet, um, and I don't need to procrastinate any more than I already have on, uh, on starting this project. So that'll be, I think, my next plan will be to just quickly, uh, you know, fill this in with uh, glass and figure out where the rest of my windows are and frame them in. Um, I should mention too that's not uh, that's not always going to be cobble. I'm going to replace that with uh, either the cyan clay or the uh, or the quartz. I have also considered using prismarine now that we have the guardian farm available. So uh, we'll have to see what I do with that. Um, if I get particularly inspired and know what I'm doing, I'll uh, record a little bit of that one day. But uh, you guys don't need to see me in my derpy building processes. Um, especially yeah, when I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Um, not much else has been happening on the server, at least to my knowledge lately. But I'll, uh, I've got a few minutes, I can show some people around. Which one do I like? Are you a fast horse? Yeah, this guy's alright. Uh, he's kinda slow. I need to fix those passages and run past the switch. No. No. Ha. Yeah, there's a few of the tunnels that are a little derpy on horseback that I need to get back to at some point. But you know, I much prefer to start large projects and never finish them. That's supposed to <laughs> fix the, uh, the things that I've done. Except for the slime elevator, but, you know, that's for my own curiosity's sake. So I'll show off a little bit of what's happened uh, on the uh, the west road here, close to my base. Just because it's, you know, convenient for me, and I've seen, uh, I've seen a bit of what's going on. Of course, if you've seen any of my videos, you've probably seen me stop by uh, Paper Heart's place here. I think she's officially decided it's going to be a, a little village instead of a castle. Can I get off you now? Yes. Beautiful. So she's uh, she's put some work into this lately. Uh, I think I've distracted her a little bit with uh, helping me with the, the slime elevator. It's useful to have a second set of eyes to figure out um, whether the pistons are firing too early or too late and, and that kind of thing. But I'll show you her house in a second. This is the most recent thing she's done. And I know because I helped her design the door. Um, what she's put in this tower is a uh, little library. I mean, by little, I mean look at the, the books she's used. Um, and she's got herself a librarian too. Uh, he looks mostly... I think he's just for looks. He doesn't look like he has great trades. Um, I really like what she did with this, uh, this little space. The floor especially. Um, she wasn't sure about it, but I think it's really cool. It's got, uh, you know, sea lantern in there for some light. And I like the design too, it's really cool. Um, some nice couches. These are new since the last time I visited. Nice, comfy seating areas by the books. And a little loft space because she's got so much vertical space to work with. Why, why wouldn't you put a loft in? And of course the patented paper heart decorated ceilings around the lights. That's how you tell it's a paper build. So that's cool. She's also... There we go. Um, she's got some foundations laid out for where she's going to have her village buildings and a fountain. And the other thing she's done here is made a nice, uh, a nice brick house with a lot of brick. I helped her with the brick. It's, yeah. And again, you see the patented paper heart lights. And some cool decorations. Really, really well done kitchen with cabinetry and a fridge. 
comfy sitting area and a, I guess what would be called a dining nook. It's pretty cool. I'm not going to show off the entire thing because I'm a little little strapped for time now and I want to show off one more thing before, uh, before I call it an episode. The one thing I really like about this build though is, well A, the different materials, but B, the the layering she's done. The fact that it looks, you know, very, very 3D. There's nice depth. Um, yeah, because when I build, it's usually just like, oh, here's my wall, and oh, here's my other wall. And it's a very flat, square build. Um, it's a style I'm trying to get away from. So uh, I recognize it when other people do it and appreciate it. Trying to figure out, you know, how I can integrate that kind of thing into my own building styles. So yeah, I'm a big fan of that, which is cool. There's one more build in between here and my base that I want to quickly, uh, very quickly show off. Uh, mostly because um, it's got some really nice, uh, some really nice depth and detail also. And it's not very far from here. So how you doing? Uh huh. Really? How much of that happened? <laughs> I love that line from The Simpsons with Mr. Scorpio. So here's the next part I wanted to show quickly, and this is uh, Caden's recent build. Um, I know Miss Purdy was helping him with it too, at least with the clearing. I'm not sure how much of the building, um, just because I wasn't around for that. But I did, uh, I did watch them clear some some of the land, make it nice and and flat. So this is his castle, and uh, you can see. I'm not going to venture in too far, but a little bit of a zoom job to to let you see a little bit more. You can see. How uh, how detailed he makes his builds. Again, good use of uh, of materials. Uh, the only thing I think I'd like to see is maybe a little more dark wood. I don't know, some dark oak or spruce. Maybe instead of the uh, the fences would be nice, like some uh, some spruce fence, for example. But yeah, no, great great use of materials and um, and texture and depth. Again, if I was building that, the towers would probably just be flat vertical, <laughs> more or less blocks. Well, I might try to make them look circular, but I certainly wouldn't have that level of detail. So, I mean, this is a really cool build, and I'm pretty sure he's still working on it. the The inside isn't quite so so um, so polished at this point, but uh, hopefully, he gets on again and and does some more work. He's one of the uh, the better builders that we've uh, we've taken on in recent times. And I was going to build a large a large build here. I was thinking something like a a great or an ancient library. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to do that now because of the proximity to Caden's place. Because um, I'm not sure I can compete with his his build style. <laughs> I might feel a little inadequate comparing my build to that. Um, also, it was going to be a, in my mind, it was going to be a really tall, large build. And if it didn't turn out well, I don't want to pollute Caden's nice skyline with a, a derpy build that I've put up. So we'll have to see what this, this turns into at some point. I'll have to rescue myself from the, uh, the villagers who want to burn me still. And yeah, I haven't been up to too much over here. I've put a little more work into the uh, into the warehouse that I showed off a few videos ago now, but that's more or less it. I've been spending most of my time at headquarters and and with slime contraptions, but I find that helps me. You know, you get a little tired of working on a project sometimes, so it's nice to have something else to kind of flip back and forth to. I'll give you guys a quick look. I've got a couple minutes, I think. So yeah, I've built the walls up higher. I've put a few windows in. Um, 
I should be able to get through here on horseback. Okay. And yeah, I've built up... Again, what I'm thinking of up here is an office loft. Upstairs. I'm really liking the andesite for this build. Definitely makes it feel kind of industrial-y to me, at the very least. Um, and then downstairs, uh, this is where I'm going to have the actual storage part of the uh, the warehouse. Um, I'm going to expand this and uh, make it all all andesite. I've got I've got tons of andesite to do that job with. Um, the main floor is going to be um, somewhat storage, but I'm going to decorate it up a little bit. Um, you know, make it look like things are kind of in transit. Have uh, see if I can make something that looks like barrels and temporary storage, and just uh, just a bit of a cluttered area where things uh, come and go from. And uh, upstairs again, if I can, can I up with the horse? I can. Um, upstairs, I'm going to make it uh, like I said, lofty office space. Maybe look like uh, shipping and receiving, tracking orders, stuff like that. And, you know, speaking of shipping, I'm going to want to... I think that dock's going to get a ship on it at some point. And then maybe another little one a little further out. Um, not sure if I'll make it look like it's uh, coming into port or leaving. Now, we can still see Kybernet's little lighthouse down there. I haven't seen him on in a while, so I'm not sure if he'll be back, unfortunately. Um, but you can see what I mean about my builds. It's very like, flat block wall. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out how to spruce that up a little bit. Well, you know, not actually just use spruce, but make it look a little less like a, a blocky place. And I have tried that with some of my builds. My main tower, I've put... Uh, can I see it from here? A little bit. Yeah, you can see I tried a little bit of texturing with that. It was one of my first real attempts with that, because it's not uh, its not my strength. Certainly not yet. Um, same with the lighthouse, the fact that there's... or the lighthouse, the uh, the windmill. The fact that there's the, the inset area, and I tried to make things a little more 3D. Oh, Trader Snow is living again. The Trader Snow uh, wagon that Dino built at the start of the map got uh, accidentally creepered I'll have to check that out. Um, so yeah, rather than try to fix the damage, Dino just uh, tore it down. And I guess he rebuilt. So that's nice to see. Because I think Trader Snows was the first actual build at spawn. So I was kind of sad to see it go. I tuck this guy away. I've got too many horses up here. I've got to figure out what I'm doing with. Uh, you can live with the, these guys for now. Should be able to remember where you came from. Uh, that's left me some gifts a little while back. Not sure what I'm supposed to do with the golden mead, um, but this was the materials that he built the ship out of when he pranked me that time. You may need this mead to deal with me. Broken heart friends. I think he's gotten over that since he's uh, he's decided to trade with me again because he needed TNT. Oh, and the moon is rising. Anyways, I think that's enough for me for today. I'll leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, you can also comment if there's something else you want to see on the server. There are a few new really cool builds by some of new players that I might get around to, uh, to showcasing at some point. Um, I also have a few more pranks in mind. It's just, it takes so long for me to, you know, get in the headspace of pranking. So I kind of procrastinate doing those, but there are a few more to come at some point. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, hope everyone has a, a fantastic day. Uh, take care, and goodbye.